Hey guys, it's Sam with Celebrity Workout Routines. Welcome to the video. In today's video, we'll be discussing how to build a physique like Devin Aoki, and we'll discuss the workout and exactly what type of uh, mentality it takes and how you can structure your workout to get a similar model-esque physique. All right, so the goal of this workout is going to be to build that model-esque type physique. And that's pretty much low body fat percentage paired with toned muscles. So you do need that foundation of muscle so that when you do get to that low body fat percentage, it's not like you're just skinny. You want to have that tone. And on top of that, muscle actually burns more calories than fat does. So the more muscle you build, the faster you'll be able to get to that low body fat percentage. And the way we're going to get there is by actually doing some weight training. You know, I know a lot of females out there, you know, I am a personal trainer and I've spoken to a lot of my clients that are female and uh, they've been hesitant to actually lift any weights. And, you know, I, I think that kind of just stems from the fact that we really associate weight training with, you know, bodybuilding, being bulky and being too, uh, let's say, manly. And that's actually false. You know, I highly recommend if you are female and you haven't been weight training, I would prioritize that over cardio, just moving forward. And really, you know, try to get into it because weight, like I said earlier, you know, having muscle is going to build or it's going to burn more calories and it's just going to be overall weight training, lifting weights for 30 minutes actually burns more calories than just doing cardio for 30 minutes. So, you know, weight training is a core part of any workout design. And if you aren't doing it, you really need to start doing it. All right. So getting back on track here. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to pair weight training with a little bit of cardio and weight training, like I said earlier, is going to be the primary focus. And I'm going to go with a five day workout split. Uh, you know, everyone's schedule is a little different, so it doesn't have to be five days. But for, you know, most people just going Monday through Friday and taking the weekend off, that tends to work best. So we'll do a five day workout split, and each day you're going to do around five to seven exercises. All right. And for each of those exercises, you want to do 12 to 20 reps. And that's going to put you in the hypertrophy range, which you're not really focused. You know, there's two types of ways you can train. Uh, you can either do the high reps and you go for hypertrophy or you go with lower reps and more weight. And for most women, strength isn't too much of an issue. It's just building that muscle. So we'll go with the higher reps and lower weight. And essentially what you're going to do is you're going to do these five to seven exercises back to back to back in a circuit with, you know, 10 to 20 seconds rest in between each exercise. And you're going to take a longer break after you've gone through the circuit and then repeat the circuit three to four times. And what this is going to do, it's going to keep your heart rate elevated and it's going to keep you moving from one exercise to the other. And that's really going to burn those calories. That's really going to give your uh, muscles a workout and it's really the ultimate goal here is going to be to burn calories and keeping your heart rate elevated for 60 90 minutes and while you're lifting weights is a solid workout and like i said earlier if you haven't been weight training i highly recommend you try this out and again with cart uh with circuits it's pretty intense so the first time you try these circuits take it slow you know don't aim to go from one exercise to the other. It's If you do need a two-minute rest, it's better to take that two-minute rest than end up getting hurt, which might stop you from going to the gym for another three weeks. So the goal here is start slow, get used to the circuits and the five-day split, and then start ramping it up so that you are you know, feeling the burn and your heart rate is actually – you know, higher in the actual workout zone. And that's going to be the ultimate goal here. All right. And for the cardio, you know, if you're like me, cardio get tends to get pretty boring just uh, walking on a treadmill or the elliptical. So I usually like to try doing a different type of cardio during each workout. So that could be anything from doing a vinyasa class, uh, going to the yoga studio, if you, or if, they, if your gym has a yoga class that they're teaching that day, hit up a vinyasa class or try kickboxing, you know, even jumping rope, maybe shoot the basketball around, uh, elliptical, stairmaster, 
you know, just by varying that up every single day and doing 20 to 30 minutes of that after your weight training, it's uh, just going to give you some extra cal- um, <clears throat> extra calories for that day. And on top of that, cardiovascular exercise is just healthy for your heart and circulation, blood circulation, and a lot of other huge benefits with it. So even though cardio isn't our primary focus, it's always nice to have at least 20, 30 minutes of cardio a day. All right. And this is an example workout. You know, I did mention earlier that there'd be a five day split and this is something it would look like, you know, we don't want to pair two huge muscle groups on the same day. So we don't want to do upper body and legs on the same day. We want to make sure that we're kind of rotating through the different parts of our body so that we're not overloading any specific muscles. You know, if you're doing upper body, legs, and abs, like all crammed into one day, it's hard to get a solid workout in and hit each of the muscle groups. So we like to just split those up. And it's going to be, you know, again, cardio is... You could either do cardio every single day or you can kind of split it up and have it on certain days. You know, on a legs day, cardio might not be the best thing to do. So you can always leave that out if you're not feeling it or if you've already got a great workout in and, you know, you don't think that cardio would be beneficial or you might risk injury that day, then you can always leave cardio out. The same thing goes with, you know, doing calves and butt on Thursday. That's not you know, those are muscles that you actively use when you're, you know, doing cardio as well. So you always leave it out. Feel free to do that. There is nothing wrong with that. As long as you're getting a good strength training workout in, then the cardio is kind of an added bonus or cherry on top. All right. Well, uh, that's actually it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and If you did enjoy the video, really appreciate it if you could give it a like or subscribe to my channel. All right, guys. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll catch you all later. Peace.